Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a 3S BMS. With this circuit, we can balance charge 3 lithium ion batteries. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to pin number 3 of the LM317IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 1 of LM317IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5K trim pot and connect its center pin and one side pin to ground and its other side pin to pin number 1 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect LM339IC and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 2 of LM317IC and its pin number 12 to ground and connect its pin number 5, 7, 9 and 10 together. After that, I'm gonna connect a BD140 transistor and connect its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of BD140 transistor and its other pin to pin number 1 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a red LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 150 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of LM317IC and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect 18650 cell holder and connect its negative pin to ground and its positive pin to pin number 1 of BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim port and connect its one side pin to ground and its center pin to pin number 3 of LM339IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect another BD140 transistor and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 1 of first BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of second BD140 transistor and its other pin to pin number 2 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect another red LED and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 150 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of second LED and its other pin to pin number 2 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect an 18650 cell holder 
and connect its negative pin to pin number 2 of second BD140 transistor and its positive pin to pin number 1 of second BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim port and connect its one side pin to ground and its center pin to pin 4 of LM339IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of second BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect another BD140 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of second BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of third BD140 transistor and its other pin to pin 14 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a red LED and connect its cathode to pin 14 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 150 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of third LED and its other pin to pin number 2 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect an 18650 cell holder and connect its negative pin to pin number 2 of 3rd BD140 transistor and its positive pin to pin number 1 of 3rd BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim port and connect its one side pin to ground and connect its center pin to pin number 8 of LM339IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of 3rd BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim port and connect its one side pin to ground and connect its center pin to pin number 11 of LM339IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of 3rd BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect BD140 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin 2 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 4th BD140 transistor and its other pin to pin 13 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a blue LED and connect its cathode to pin 13 of LM339IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 150 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 4th LED and its other pin to pin 2 of LM317IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4007 diode and connect its anode to pin number 2 of 4th BD140 transistor and its cathode to pin number 1 of 3rd BD140 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of 4th BD140 transistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 volt Zener diode and connect its cathode to pin 7 of LM339IC and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin 7 of LM339IC and its other pin to pin 2 of LM317IC. So we have completed all the connections, now let's test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.